Go a little bit lower. I always go too low. I'm not getting much of a, uh, what do you call it, am I? Oh no, I am getting a flicker. Okay, we're changing lights. We're changing lights. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Why is this bothering me so much? There we go. Okay. So, where are we? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I actually don't remember what we're doing. Met with Glenn Dan, the leader of the council. Good enough for me, let's go. Rebecca Lee, howdy, hey. The new setup is looking good, thank you. Thank you. It'll look better once I've got the green screen and everything up. But I, I only want to test out the green screen on a game that's not going to be uh, eventually put onto a YouTube video, you know? That's why I'm, you know, playing it safe, using my wall as a backdrop in this one. For those that don't know, and for those that have noticed the change, I have changed my room around. Which means now my back is right here, right against the wall. Whereas usually I'd have a whole room behind me. I've put myself right in the corner. And eventually, I've got a green screen, it's down there behind me. Eventually I'm going to set up a green screen. And uh, we'll do that thing where I'm in, I'm like, just my silhouette is in the game, that's it. It's going to be great. Now, here's the thing. I want to stream two games today, and I've left it very late. Yeah. What's up? Get blocked and strick down. Okay. Yeah, uh, so I want to stream two games. I've left it late, which means this one... If I have any control over my my gaming willpower, is going to be no longer than an hour. If I see a decent opportunity to end the stream at like the 45, 50 minute mark, I'm going to do it. Just so we've got time to stream something else. Because if I stream this for the usual amount of time, we won't have enough time to stream something else. Um... Where did... Where did Afra want us to go? For her side quest. It doesn't matter, we'll just do the main quest. Who's with me right now? I don't even know. Oh uh, yeah, Petrus. Oh, I don't, I don't like bringing Petros with me, but he's my strongest, he's probably my strongest companion. Oh well, oh well. Chilton, no getting sidetracked. Yes, sir. Well, that's the thing, as it might be painful, but if we haven't finished the quest that we're on right now, by the time we hit the hour mark, I'm going to end the stream. So, here's hoping that when we hit the hour mark, it's not getting too juicy. And I've got a bad feeling it is going to be, because that's just my luck. No one cleaned these bodies up. I'm at the start of the game. Disgusting behaviour. Okay. You know what? Follow me. Let's get everyone involved in this fight. Oh, I know. Really? I can only fight one at a time? Is that what you're telling me? If I go over here, are you guys going to go away? Land dwellers? What did you call me?
Well, the, the, the bears and these highwaymen will not fight each other. One thing I will say, and I don't want to say it, because Greedfall has turned out to be a very good game. The combat is very lackluster in many ways. Like, everything about the combat mechanics, they've done enough to make it bearable and okay, but... Not the best. Oh, I don't know why I said bless me, because I meant to mute my mic. So no one even saw it. Or heard it, they definitely saw it. Uh, no, we want to go this way. But yeah, if this game had more of an emphasis... Like, obviously I am the legate, I am the dude, I am like a peacekeeper, diplomat kind of guy. But if my, if my guy was like proclaimed to be the best soldier in the land, and that was the, that was the story arc that we were going down, and the game decided to have these combat mechanics, it would be very disappointing. If they're calling you a land dweller, they can't be highwaymen. Yeah, they must be noughts. The noughts must have a... Uh, a sect of bandits. Chilton. I'm not even going to read that joke out loud. The public does not deserve to see. Uh, Vasco or Kurt? Who should we take with us? Vasco or Kurt? I'm getting rid of Petrus. Vasco or Kurt? What are we saying? What are we saying? What are we saying? Come on, chat. Help me out. Help me out. Help me out. Green blood, my friend. The letter we found in Rolf's. I didn't even I mean to. I'm gonna find it. Later. Another time. All right. Anything I didn't mean else? to talk to you, Vasco. I must leave you. Vasco is good for me. Um. Uh, okay. So compose your team. Sorry, Petrus. Not today. Add to the team. And what we will do is buy Vasco some new some new threads. Where is he? There he is. Uh, first of all, his sword. He can use the steel dagger, which is a lot stronger. Oh, the straight blade is also a lot stronger. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Anything stronger than 3-3-3 three, three, three that Vasco can use? Nope, 3-3-3, three, 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 that's the one. What was it? The straight saber. And he can use a gun as well, I believe. Whoa! This is like so much stronger. Yeah, this one. And then let's just go on sales real quick. Oh, wow. Another really good ring. Uh, make sure, let me just make sure no one's missing out on a... And a better weapon here. The steel foil is better. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to sell it. I want to do it. Oh, you know, it doesn't matter. Just sell it. We'll, we'll buy cut some better gear later. So purchase... Vasco. So he's got his straight saber. He's got his gun. Now oh, let's work on his armor. He's got to have a tricorn. This is going to be the best one. It's the most valuable, which is good enough for me. 72. Yep, we'll give him that one. It's the Nort attire. I want to dress like a Nort. And the gloves and stuff, I don't really care about. Call me crazy. I might actually be wrong in this presumption. But, uh... The, the most expensive stuff in the shop is always at the top.
linen cape of the congregation. Which is pretty much what I've got, isn't it? I think this one's slightly better. But they look the exact same. Okay. Ah! Uh, okay. Follow me, men! Onwards! Dave, what am I playing today? It's going to be this, and then after we're playing our next episode of Ark. That is the plan. That is the plan for today. Oh, what's this? Crude iron ore. A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go. Oh, he's got a skull above his health. I don't know what it means, but I don't like it. This way? This is not the way, however. Cool. I wonder if, if I did all of the side quests and stuff and leveled up as high as I could possibly go, I could learn everything. Like, I, I could be a craftsman and all the other stuff that I want to be. So I'm picking up all this iron and all that, but I feel like it's just a waste. Because I can't use it. Oh! Another one of these! I have no idea where I'm going. Surely it's not this way, right? This is the opposite of the way we need to go. Who owns this camp? Confusion. We can't go up here, can we? No. It's over the side of this cliff that's to my right. This is the dead end way, right? There's definitely nowhere to go from here. Is that not a... I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm going to have to resort to the map. I don't like doing this. Camp area there. See, that's where I need to go, but I don't actually see any road here that leads to it. I've got to go around this way, it looks like. There is a camp area right here, though. Uh, hold on. Let's use the map. So south. South, south, south. And then I need to go towards here. Nice place. Door grid. The heart's gates. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit confused. My brain can't rewind back and figure out why I'm here. We helped. Oh yeah, that's the one. We're looking to get, talk to the uh, an ill mon Frichtman, or whatever he's called. That's the one. That's the one. The God of a Thousand Faces. Hello, my name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. May I enter? Good day, Legate de Sarde. No, this building is closed to Renaixe. 
I am Siora. Siora? This is why I brought her. Daughter of Meb. My mother, the Mal of the Red Spears, was a member of the council. All here oh, yeah, the council. And the, the healer gifts. who's got Constantine's back she was gave us the symbol. Mal, but you are not yet Mal in her stead. And you do not carry her seal. I am sorry, Siora. I cannot allow you to enter. I beg your pardon. I did not know. Here is the seal of the Denegad Katasach of the village of Wenshavier. And so you are a trusted friend of the great healer. He must see your true face and find it worthy. Enter. You are welcome. Are my companions allowed to join me? Yep, they are. Cool. <laughs> I give you warm greetings, Glendan. I am Disarde, legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Your merchant congregation sways me very slightly from my path. But you are a current of Katasach. His trust in you makes me stop and look at you. What brings you here? He's on the markings on his face. A remedy. My cousin, as well as many other people on our island, suffer from a terrible sickness. We think that only Enon Miel Frichtemann can help us find a cure. Really? And Katasach sent you to see me? He told me that the only way to meet with your god was to come and see you. You would judge our worthiness. Judge your intentions? Yes, that I can do. But even if I should do this, you would have many trials to pass. For the path you seek to follow has only been tread but a very few times. And you are the first Renaixe to set foot upon it. We must begin where everything begins. There is a trial. The trial of water. It will show us the reflection of your soul. What must I do? You must go to a cavern and tell me what you see on the seal you will find deep in its center. And this cavern is guarded, I suppose. That is true. But the simplest solution is not always the best. It is a path with many forks. I hope you will prove that you understand the spirit of our people and our island. Go now. Show us your true face. And return purified by the waters of the cavern. So I might be wrong here. I must leave. Goodbye. But I'm presuming. Well, talk to Ciara about the missionaries in her village. Is that is that her personal side quest? Has she only just got it available for me? You have spoken to Glendon as you wanted. What more can I do for you? I was asked to pass the trial of water. What do you know about it? I have never passed it. Only those who must reveal their soul walk this path. The high kings and queens. It is a tremendous honor given to you, Renaixe. Do you have any advice to give me? I only know that the trial can be passed in many ways, and your choice will reveal the makings of your soul. One way is through strength, the other by ruse and heart. But I know no more than this. The trials are kept secret. Anything else? Nothing else, thank you. I need I'd to like leave. to know where the cave Good is. Luck. And do not lose yourself in your own reflection. Okay. It's just like, oh, there we go. Let me, why can't I hover over the thing on my compass? There we go. Complete the trial of waters. I will check my map. Oh, it's there. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be this, this cave that was here. Uh, so we're going to go north. And then this road wraps around to the left. And alas, the cave will be there. Ready for me. To undergo the trial of water. I've got a feeling I have to fight myself. Got a, got a, I've got a vibe. I want to see like a, an apparition of myself. Siora, do you know anything about the trial that awaits us inside? 
My mother passed it during the last election, but it was Vinbar that was elected in the end. Did she tell you about it? A little, but it is a secret trial. It is important that you give your whole heart to it. I know that you must choose your path in your way. Combat is not necessarily the best response, even if it allows you to get to where you are going. If you are confronted with animals, remind yourself that they must feed. And there are ways of altering food to make those who eat it fall into a deep and peaceful sleep. Hmm. Is that an idea that your mother used? It's clever. Thank you. Siora, why are you so tall? <laughs> Heavens above. Okay. So, the game wants me to find some sort of sleeping potion and douse it in the animal food. However, I can't be bothered to go backwards. I only look forwards. If that means I have to fight, then I will fight. But if there's a way... They're eating the old carcass. If you poured some sleeping potion on it, they'd fall asleep. Oh, aren't they just going to fight me the second I go down there? You did it. They're sleeping. Oh, I have a sleeping potion. Crikey, that was lucky. Okay, nice. Don't ask me to do that more than once, please. I don't want to test luck a second time. Uh, see, so I have the option of fighting the bats or jumping over this thing. Do I have one vigor? Well, I have one vigor, but I need two vigor. That's a shame. I'm gonna have to fight. Ow. See what, having Siora in the gang that can heal is actually so huge. I'm going to die. So that heal. Yep, I can see that. Thank you, Vasco. Eh. Well, Vasco's going to die. Vasco's dead! Nice. You okay, Vasco? I've only got two healing potions left. Not good, not good, not good. Um, I know I don't need to go this way, but we'll see. There's the other half of the jump. I bet one's gonna be like intuition or something. Another skill that I don't have. If there's any option to talk my way through, then I'm golden, but... Oh, hello. I'm sorry, where? Oh, over there. You were freezing and you had this empty stare. The water in the basin spoke to you. No. Yes. Exactly like the lightning struck tree. I was something else for a brief moment. Tell us. Visions like this are I didn't see the vision. <laughs> a keys for the sacred rituals. I was in the sky. I was floating, carried by the wind. Wind. And it wind. was a cold feeling. I was high up, and it was getting colder and colder. Freeze. I felt my wind. Freeze. Freeze. My veins. I felt wind. Freeze. Sun. Sun. Wind. Sun freeze. Sun. Suddenly I. Wind, freeze, sun. And I was taken by the bubbling current of this creek. Water. And just like before, the vision dissipated. Water, wind, and I was suddenly freeze, moved. sun, water. Wind, this stone is black. freeze, sun, water. This stone bears the image of a storm. Or perhaps the... Wind, On freeze, the stone, the sun, is sun, Water. Wind. Here, this looks like a snowflake. Freeze. Sun. Water. This stone is adorned with. I'm a genius.
Is that it? Let me check my map. Oh. Oh, I've got two skill points now. Ooh. Which means I could learn this? No, that requires three. I could learn one of these things. Completely mobilizes the duration. I don't even know how to do it. How do I do it? Do I need to wear a ring to do a stasis? Completely immobilizes the enemy for the duration of the effect. That seems like really useful. Yeah, let's do our traps. Screw it. Because I feel like it's only worth doing this tree if I was going to do this tree as well. Increase the destruction of armor. Yeah. And that's it. And I've got none of those. Okay, let's shut them up. So, I need to go... Ugh. <laughs> I need to somehow go there. I came from here... No, did I? Did I? Wait, did I? Ah, no. If I had three vigor, I could I could not do this fight. But because I only have no, one vigor, I must fight this dude. Hello. Tame? Wait. What? I guess because I did the uh, the water spell correctly, the water ritual thing. Okay. This must be the seal that Glendan spoke about. It looks like the silhouette of the mountain of Tirfredi, and a face is drawn within it. The spirit of the volcano, one of the faces of Enonil Frichtemann. There's a volcano on this island? Is that where I'm gonna have to go? Because if so, that's pretty cool. Or should I say pretty hot? <laughs> okay. Let's go tell Glendan. And see if he can decipher what we have learned. to mad on Ormanawi. I congratulate you for passing the trial. Thank you. Enter. Thanks, man. And so you have returned. Can you tell me what the seal deep within the cavern brings into your mind? A face in the mountain of Tirfredi. Then you have seen the true face of the island when looking into her waters. And the island has seen inside you. You sent the beasts into a deep sleep. That was very clever. Another before you did the same. In the second room, you have awoken the Dosentats to better best them. Sorry. Finally, you have completed the ritual. And in so doing, the Guardian recognized you as a wise man. You choose to trust the way of rules and wisdom. It is a difficult path, but it carries generous fruits. The island has seen your intelligence and also your compassion. The friendship of Katasak towards you no longer surprises me. Am I authorized to encounter Enor Mil Frichtemann now? To present him with my request? If the High King agrees, yes. We shall not oppose that decision. Only a High King or High Queen is allowed to open the Sanctuary. I warned you, hmm. your voyage is far from over. I suppose that I'm going to need to convince them as well. Where can I find them? I do not know. And I believe that it may be another trial on your path to find the one you seek. Is he hiding? Has he been captured? He disappeared several months ago. Since then we have not heard from him. He was worried about the Renaixe. The last people to have seen him, I'm told, were the most important chiefs of the clans here at the council. There was Dedra, 
Blacknit, Ulan, and Dunkas. My mother, alas, can tell us nothing more. Yes. I heard about your loss, Siora. On the Vorst Tirse. Morning is a difficult time to pass. And the Vorst Tirse. Thank you, Glyndon. Dedra is the Mal of the clan of the Storm Warriors. You will find her in the village. We've met of Dedra before. I've already met her. She sent me to confront a guardian. That sounds like her. Ulan is the Mal of the village of Vignamri, near the coast. It is said that he welcomes the Renaxe. As for Dunkas, he leads the Vigigidor. He is the chief of the Earth Healers. His village is not very far from the Didekid and Nadagais. Very well. I will go and see them. Try to find. Do I have to talk to all of them? Thank you, Glenda. Kwaawalam said. I hope that you will find him. Talk to Glenda about the trial. The trial. Okay, that's cool. What's the next thing? Speak to Constantine about the sanctuary. Let's talk to Siora. I want to see what her side quest is. I need to talk to you. I have to ask you for another favor. I'm listening, Siora. Do you remember the mind shakers in my village? Yes. If I understand correctly, there was some kind of an agreement made with them. Even though these priests would make good allies against the lions because they hate them as much as we do, my mother would never have traded the spirits of the people of the village in exchange for their help. And she would have wanted to be buried according to our rituals. She was deeply attached to our traditions. So you think that they're lying? Yes. And you understand these Renaigse better than I do. Will you investigate this matter with me? Sure. I cannot Not right go now, there but... now, but we will talk about it again. Anything else? God, I've got so many things. See so many it. side quests to do. I don't even know who to follow. Don't know whose job to do. Heavens above. Whoops. One day and six hours. It's quite the journey. So Petrus wants us to go to San Mateus. Uh, Kurt wants us to go to San Mateus. Siora wants us to go back to her village. Afra wants us to go to... A random village of the natives. And I always said that I was only going to do their side quests if we were already going to that area. But it would seem I'm never going to really go to the place where Afra or Siora wants me to go. Obviously, I'll probably go back to San Mateus at some point. I guess once we've done the next story mission, we'll do another... Uh, we'll do a, a companion side mission. Maybe that's how we'll do it. We'll do like a main mission, then a side mission. We might be able to do both of the San Mateo side missions at once. Oh. Uh-oh. Lieutenant, I demand an explanation. Tell us what is going on. We haven't heard anything about Lord Dorsey's condition in spite of our inquiries. We are extremely worried. And then all of a sudden one of his guards appears, shaken and on his own, though he is part of his retinue. Please, oh, no. allow me the chance to shed some light, my lady. Your soldier is nothing more than a coward for abandoning his highness. Tell me, what is going on? This soldier has just reported in. He is asking for reinforcements. He believes that Lord Dorsey has been attacked. He believes? He ran here without full knowledge of what happened firsthand. I... I was sent on patrol far from the camp. But I heard screams from men and from beasts. I wanted to return to camp, but then I heard a deafening sound, grinding like a landslide. I thought then it would be best just to go and get help. Thank you, Lieutenant. You are dismissed. 
I would like to have a discussion with this man alone. Yes, sir. My lady, could you lead these fine people into the hallway, if you would be so kind? Certainly. I deplore this embarrassing turn of events. But know that you have my full support in all circumstances. In the interest of avoiding a general panic, tell me precisely what happened back there. Your cousin ordered us to escort him beyond the town limits. The Islander convinced him to go on some journey. By Islander, do you mean the Denegad that came to treat his affliction? Yes. A, a strange bird. Missing more than one feather, you ask me, sir. I, I was ordered to set up patrol along a small path, rather far from the rest of the company. I was told to protect our perimeter from anyone wandering along. According to the Islander, it was the only access to their planned destination. I did my rounds for quite some time. Not a soul came along. But then I heard cries a ways off. And I went running to help. I heard an enormous crashing sound, li like an avalanche of rocks. So then I turned right back around. And you ran all the way here? Um. Do you know precisely where the company was when you heard these sounds? No, not precisely. I hadn't gone there. But I could show you where I was posted. The Islander said they were following the path. But he was quite a ways ahead when I lost sight of them. A trap? Why chance? didn't you go and look for yourself? To see if they had been buried by a rock slide? What? Alone? What could I have done? It seemed of greater urgency to go and get help. I'm still having trouble deciding if cowardice or intelligence got the best of you. But that's a question for your superiors. My cousin was quite weak. Do you know why he decided to follow the Denegad? His Highness was feeling much better. The potions that he was drinking must have been potent. I mean to show no disrespect to His Highness, but that islander had the high ground in the War of Wits. I wasn't privy to their counsel. I haven't the beginning of an explanation for the expedition. But your cousin was all full of enthusiasm and ordered that we set out as quick as we could make ready. That sounds like him. What sort of mess has he gotten himself into? Again. I am sorry, sir. But I don't know anything else I could tell you. Dismissed, soldier. Looks like I'm going on an expedition. Thank you, sir. Well, another twist in the tale of the Sade. Oh, hey guys. Um, crikey. I like that every time we come back here, something different happens. Keeps me on my toes. I fully thought that I was going to get here and it'd be like, oh, okay. I've got to go talk to these guys and constantly be like, alright cousin, off you go, <laughs> and that'll be it. Oh wait. Question, Deirdre, Ulan and Duncus. That's my main quest, I don't think it should be. It's got to be searching for Constantine, surely. Hmm. 39 minutes in. I did say I wanted this to be less than an hour, and we've just started on the track of a brand new main quest. Which will definitely take about an hour. And I can't go over an hour. Do you understand my, my, my problem here? <laughs> Alright. We'll start this looking for Constantine quest. But we definitely won't be able to finish it. Let me just ask Afra. Where is it that she wants to go? Desade. I would like to go to Kurganau, the place of ritual. Kurganau. But they call it. Sorry, I'm already. I understand. Anything else? Kurganel, 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 Kurganel. Kurganel. 
I don't need to go there yet, but I need to try and remember that name. So if we ever do go there, I can bring Afra and we can do her side quest. Bears on the on the left. Should be able to just avoid a fight here. Oh, a campsite. I'll tell you what. Even though they separate each different area with loading screens, it's still a big open world. It does feel very samey though. Like it doesn't matter where I am. If I'm not in a city, I feel like I'm in the same little area. This is the camp that Constantine's escort must have established. It looks more like a battlefield. I hope that Omegad and your cousin survived the fight. Search the zone. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happened here. I found a clue. Oh, this is not a, this dead body is not a clue. Okay, whatever. The tents were lacerated by what looks like claws, and there are traces of blood everywhere. Some of these men must have been attacked in their sleep by beasts. Most of the weapons are missing. Our soldiers wouldn't have taken a rest without defenses. Our soldiers were attacked by surprise, and there were animals among the assailants. However, our men reacted properly. They were armed, and they fled as best they could. There are no bodies, and no sign of Constantine or Katasak's presence here. Perhaps yep. they no were bodies. in another place, and the soldiers wanted to join them. We need to follow the tracks. Okay. This area has been trampled. An entire stampede passed by here. Our soldiers must have fled the zone and taken this path followed by their assailants. That dude lies? Sacred place of a native cult. No. No doubt this is where Katasak and Constantine were going. It isn't really a place of a cult, uh, but rather a place of. Anchoring, a place where Donegada perform a ritual to become Sinol Menawi. These places are charged with great energy. Perhaps Katasak wanted to use it to bring relief to your cousin. Perhaps. There are bodies, and without a doubt there was fighting here. Search the place. Let's see what we are able to find. Oh. Loads of clues here. Crater. Without a doubt, caused by an explosive potion. The soldiers might have been carrying them. They must have been desperate to have taken such drastic measures. The corpses of both men and beasts. These soldiers fought dearly until the end. Neither Constantine nor Katasak are among them. This blade is a native ritual now. And this bowl contained a potion. Ooh. Someone wanted to perform a ritual here. Could Katasak have found a better means to alleviate Constantine's symptoms? Constantine and Katasak must have been visiting this place. Perhaps performing some sort of healing ritual. When the attack took place, the soldiers intervened. And many fell during the fight. But a group was able to escape down this path. We need to continue following their tracks. How peculiar. More tracks. Footprints. They must have fled this way. Strange. These trees look half calcinated, as if they were exposed to immense heat. These weapons are in terrible condition. Whatever did these men come up against? Why am I in fire music? <laughs> Another burnt tree. This path seems to have been scorched in flames. Bit of poison on my blade. Ow. Ow. Okay. More signs of an explosion. I can't believe that our soldiers could be carrying so many explosive potions. 
new footprints. It looks as if a group met up with them and took this Dude, path. look at these footprints. There was more fighting over here. How soft is this earth? There are made of the snow. Of our own men. But where could these other soldiers have come from? No, uh, no, uh, faction colors. More signs of explosions. But what were they doing with all these explosives on them? I don't see any of the clues that I can pick up on. Search the area to follow traces of combat. I mean, I can see all the traces of combat right here. But these are all just lootable things. They're not quest things I should look at. There are footprints. Only a handful made it up to here. Path stops on this overhang, and despite signs of a skirmish, I can't see any sign of Constantine or Katasak. These rocks were broken, as if they had taken cannon fire. What could have happened here? Don't mind me, Mr. Monster. Just going to explore. These vials look familiar. Katasak used the very same to stock his potions. He must have come here. I'm going to pick them up. Oh, I might. Okay. okay. I recognize this sack. It's my cousin's. Oh, Constantine, what have you gotten yourself into again? Uh, just follow the traces of combat. Oh wait, is this it? Bit of poison on my blade. Oh. Ow. Thanks, Vasco. I don't recognize these men. Still more unknown soldiers. Could they have been responsible for the attack? Could it be the coin guard? Let's see. According to this note, this troop came from an outpost of the bridge alliance close by. Mm. A patrol, no doubt. Could the bridge in some way be linked to this attack? That makes no sense. Very well. Let's sum things up. Constantin and Katasach definitely came through here to perform some sort of ritual. But they were attacked. An attack obviously involving wild animals. And then there are these traces of inexplicable flames. Could it be magic? You cannot suspect my people are behind this attack. You have strayed far from the path. No one would have attacked Katasach. Unless he himself was behind it. He is a powerful Donegad. The beasts obey him. How could you even think something like that? He is a healer. He brought comfort to your cousin. Perhaps he only did it to gain our trust. With Constantine captive, he now has leverage to apply to the colonists and force them to accept his conditions. But in all truth, I have no idea what to think. But regardless of who is guilty, I must find my cousin. We could return to Wen Xavier to learn more. Perhaps Katasak returned there. Or maybe his Vogelndijk could tell us where to find him. We are also going to have to visit the outpost. Look at Vasco Their looking at me blankly. He doesn't know what combat, to think. Or at least the end of it. They must have some stories for us. That trail seems a better one to follow. Katasach is a good man. But the soldiers and the lions have already betrayed you. That's true. But I do not see how they could have made these animals obey them. However, one way or another, Constantine is in danger. Let us be on our way without further delay. Okay, question Aidan in Wen Shavaye. Or however, however you pronounce that name. Or investigate in the Alliance's outpost. You know what? Just because I like Siora, we'll go and have a look. So I do feel like if we go to question Aidan, it'll ruin our rep. 
with Siora a little bit. Where do I go? Oh, I've got to get there, but this, there's no way down from here. Oh, maybe I can go south and maybe there's a way here that links through. Yeah, no. There's no other way, is there? So this way. And then this way. And then hopefully, there's a little exit on the left we can take. But first, I gotta check out this chest right here. Wow. Don't worry, see all right, got you. Go on, Vasco. Go on, son. Good job. GG's all round, okay. Um. Ah! Is that an area for a campsite? Glorious. I miss RPGs where you can just pick up anyone's clothing and then wear it. Like Skyrim and Fallout and games like that. Maybe that's what I'll do next. Maybe I'll do a Fallout playthrough. Imagine. Jeez. Fallout 4 is a banging game, and I've only ever played through the main game once. That wouldn't be for YouTube, though. That would just be something to stream. I don't know. Let me know. Here it is. Let's hope they know something. Otherwise, we're wasting our time. Colonials? You must have gotten lost to have come this far from nowhere. To whom do I owe the honor? Disarde. I am legate of the congregation of merchants on this island. A legate? Here? Pardon my dismay, but we don't get many uh, official sorts around here. Captain Idris, I am the ranking officer in charge of this Bridge Alliance outpost. What can I do for you, sir? Just the guy I'm looking for. I'm looking for Constantine Dorsey, the island governor of the Congregation of Merchants. A governor? Here? Whatever would he be doing in this rat hole? My cousin was part of an expedition in this region. His men and his camp were attacked. They nearly all died. But we found no trace of his body, which has us hoping that he may still be alive. Wounded and holding up somewhere, or even captured. Have you cast your suspicions in our direction? I hope this is a joke. We've had neither reinforcements nor supplies for weeks. In my book, we've been totally forgotten. I wouldn't risk the few lives remaining to attack a governor's camp. I'm not crazy. I'm truly sorry for your cousin, Excellency, but we haven't seen him. And we definitely haven't kidnapped him. The region is dangerous. The natives are heartless. You should be looking in their direction. You do know that we found the bodies of several men from the garrison up there, don't you? How could you be sure? One of them was carrying a note, signed by your hand. And they are dead. I had hoped they'd have survived and would eventually return. Explain yourself, Captain. What were your men doing on the clifftop? They were monitoring the zone. They were to warn us of any troop movements. We have lost too many men to surprise attacks. We decided to take initiative and be ready. Yesterday, we heard screams and saw some strange lights up there. But I was hoping... And you didn't go and see for yourself? You hear screams, certainly those of your own men, and you don't do anything. So the last of my men give up their lives for nothing as well? You can think of me as a coward if you like. But me? I'm taking no more unnecessary risks. Why do I have the feeling that you're holding something back from me? 
Insist. Speak. Insist. I understand what you're feeling. The give me a, give me an option to use my charisma. The, other. the feeling of being abandoned by your leaders, the anger. But if you know anything, what? speak. Uh, my cousin is not one of them. I don't know what to tell you, Excellency. I haven't stepped a foot outside camp. I am convinced that you are hiding something from me, Captain. I will return. And my answers will not change. Anything else? <laughs> Anything else? All right, I we'll bribe. You haven't told me everything about the attack that took place. I can see how difficult your present situation has become. I'm certain you haven't been paid either for quite some time. I cannot solve all of your problems. But what would you say if I took care of that one, at least? A little gold would certainly improve the morale of my men. One of the men I posted there returned during the night. A survivor? Excellent. Did he tell you what happened? He wasn't able to say a word. He collapsed unconscious two steps past the doorway. Our nurse sits with him, but... There is little hope that he will come back to himself. His wounds are extremely serious. He's just refusing to die. I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. Perhaps we could do something for him. Go and see the nurse. Perhaps you can do something to help the poor boy. I can't take it anymore. To lose another man. Anything else? There's something about him I need to be good. that that I speaks very much like to do the same. sincerity. Safe journey, Your Excellency. I do feel like the natives are probably to blame, which is a shame, because Ciara's not going to be happy about that. We are hitting that hour mark. So let's have a natter with the nurse and see if we can. What are you doing there? Do anything. This is an infirmary. I know. I've come to see the wounded soldier. The captain told me you might need my help. That is very kind of him. But alas, it's a little late. What are you saying? Is the soldier? No, he still lives. But I've been asking the captain for weeks to escort me on a mission to replenish my stocks. I no longer have a single remedy. And now that we have a wounded patient, I can only wipe water on his brow and hope. Do you know what type of remedy would allow him to survive? Yes, at least I think so. It's a known potion that heals burns. I see. Give me the recipe. We'll go and see that it's prepared for you. <sighs> Thank you. Because of you, this poor boy might be able to survive his wounds. Sovereign potion against burns. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Wait, what kind of nurse doesn't have an alchemy station for me to brew potions? Where am I supposed to go to? Where do I go to prepare this? Oh, so bright. Oh, wait, there is a place here. I can see it on the map. Okay. Oh wait, there it is. Why do I still have sleeping potions in my... I don't know. So, I need science level 1. And I do have the, the ingredients to make the potion. However, I don't have the science. I'm not a very good scientist. There doesn't appear to be a shop owner. In this camp. At least not that the compass is leading me to. What do we do? What do we do? The only thing I could think of doing. Is using another reset skill potion. And giving myself one science. Maybe take take the one away from lock picking and put it on science uh, hmm. do it, screw it 
So we'll keep the two charisma. You know what? Lockpicking's useless. I'm going three charisma. I'm wild. Uh, one for endurance. Three agility. I don't even know what else. Let's put two on endurance. And four on agility. And as for skills... I could go on a whole different route, you know. I could just change everything and go magic. Do foil throws. Spend the rest of our points on these. That'll do. And then I've got to re equip all my stuff. Huh. It automatically gives me another regulation pistol. Okay, let's try it again. We have hit the hour mark. Were you able to concoct the potion against sperms? Yes, I was. Might we administer it? Give it to me. I'll take care of this. Uh, we must wait and be patient now. Will he make it? I hope so. We'll know soon enough. This potion is extremely potent. And if he survives, when could we speak to him? Come back tomorrow at the same time. We'll know more then. Tomorrow? I'll come back tomorrow. See you soon. And thank you again for your help. Can I just talk to him and it'll give me the option to wait till tomorrow? Really? Oh. Alright, well we're going to end the quest, or the, the uh, episode here, for now. We've hit the hour mark. And that's all I have time for, gang. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you as always, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.